Jason Jewell of Scout.com. I'm Jared Cohen. This is the Recruiting Roundup. We're looking ahead already to the 2015 season. Last week, we spotlighted quarterbacks. This week, Jason, it's running backs. And five to spotlight off the bat so far. We start with one of the premier athletes in Arizona over the last couple seasons, Chandler's Chase Lucas. Yeah, you you got to love Chase Lucas. Um, Big-time running back that has the ability to score anytime he touches the ball. Um, also, very good hands out of the backfield. Good return man as well. And I even think that Lucas could turn around and be a, a cornerback at the next level. The most highly recruited uh, prospect out of the state of Arizona is a four-star prospect by scout.com right now. And then the next running back we look at is a guy that just has broken out onto the scene since a freshman and has only gotten better. Desert Edge's Roshan Johnson can be a premier player in this state. Doesn't seem like he's been playing for a long, long time. He's only going to be a junior this season, which is absolutely ridiculous. Had you know about 800 yards rushing as a freshman on the varsity level. Rushed for over 1,000 yards last year. Going to continue that. You know, uh, Desert Edge loses um, uh, some good players up uh, up front on the offensive line, but Roshan Johnson will be able to help key that offense and pound the football for uh, Rich Wilbar and the Scorpions. This next player isn't exactly a true running back by the de definition of the position, but this was an honorable mention all section player at the running back spot. Kyler Burke can do just about everything on the football field for Hamilton. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of Kendall Taylor. He wasn't a true running back, you know, lined up in the slot a lot. Very, very versatile, kind of like when we talked about uh, Chase Lucas. Uh, Steve Bellis has told me that Burke is going to be the first two-way starter at Hamilton in, since his time in being there. Burke already has an offer from South Dakota State, is expecting more to come through. If he continues to develop on the defensive side of the ball, that's where uh, Coach uh, Bellis thinks he has the most upside. He could end up landing more scholarship offers. Westwood was one of the best stories in Arizona last season, making the playoffs for the first time in quite some time, and it was a lot in part because of their running back, Ethan Johnson. He had a huge season, rushed for 1,800 yards. And, you know, Westwood, people were kind of overlooking them. Their coaches moved on. Spencer Stowers got the new job at Castile High School in Chandler. Uh, Jim Ewan, the longtime you know, head coach from at Chandler High, right, right before Sean Aguano was taken over. And I think that he's going to continue feeding that football to Ethan Johnson. And finally, Ryan Velez is now a veteran for Brophy. And to think that he's got experience on top of his already incredible skill is a scary thought. Yeah, Brophy, I think, has actually been pretty young over the last few years, and all of those kids are now grown up, and I think the Broncos are going to have a breakout season. I expect them to be one of the powers in Division One. And again, uh, Velez is their man. He's their go-to guy on offense, and, you know, feed, feed the uh, rock to him, and, you know, watch the offense explode. No question. He's also been a threat on special teams as well. Now we're going to talk about three more running backs in three different categories. First, it's the riser, a player that from last season uh, was good, but he's only going to get better coming into the 2015 season. That player is out of Estrella Foothills. His name is Joe Logan. Yeah, a kid that not many people really know about because, you know, he's way up in Australia foothills, but he did a good job last year, rushed for over 1,000 yards. He is a big kid. He's 5'11", weighs almost 200 pounds, already has an early offer from South Dakota State. Uh, their, their head coach, Lamar Early, going to give him the football, and I think he's going to be a breakout-type name and a rising prospect in the state of Arizona. We talk new era at this position. New era, which we mean is there's a, a great player at that position. He's now off to the next level. So a new one waiting in the wings. And each and every time there's a new era running back at Centennial, we know he's going to be good. So who's taking Dedrick Young's spot? Yeah, the kid that I want to spotlight is Quentin Gomez. Like you mentioned, Dedrick Young, uh, the Hughes brothers that, that had a huge, huge careers at Centennial High School, and I think Gomez is next in line. Again, he played backseat to Dedrick Young last year, but he's been getting carries each of the last two years. You know, averaged about 500 yards a season over, over the last two years, and I think he's a guy that is going to be the new era guy that's going to be that 2,000-yard rusher, rusher for the Coyotes. And our breakout player at the quarterback position was Jack Smith, the new quarterback at Mountain Point. We now talk about breakout player at running back. The three-headed monster at Mountain Point is gone, so now there's a new running back coming up that expects to be our breakout prospect this season. Yeah, the guy we want to talk about is Macarius Blunt. He's a transfer from Fairfax. Was a second-team all-section rusher last year. Rushed for almost 800 yards uh, at, uh, for Fairfax. Now he moves over to uh, Mountain Point. We know Norris Vaughn likes to run the football. I think they're just going to hand the ball to him. And he's a kid. He's about six foot tall. He runs sub-11 in the 100 meters, and he's almost 200 pounds. So I think in that offense, he's going to be featured. Being at the bigger school, too, his, his name will be out there a lot more. That's it for our running backs looking ahead to the 2015 season. That's Jason Jewell, Scout.com. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been a special second recruiting roundup of the week powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity.